Welcome to THE 1020 Introduction to Theater with Bobby Bell. The Modern Theater Anti Realism. Bertolt Brecht is a towering figure in theater history and the person most responsible for bringing the form of epic theater into the anti-realist tradition. Coming out of the horrible conditions of the World Depression in Germany following World War I, Brecht found his inspiration in cabaret, street theater, and sporting events. In this early picture, you can see the young Brecht playing a clarinet in this street theater performance. For Brecht, the lively interaction of sporting events were a startling contrast to the passive audiences of the polite bourgeois theaters of realism. Bertolt Brecht was a theorist as well as a playwright and director who wrote extensively about the epic theater. The bourgeois theater's performances always aim at smoothing over contradictions, at creating false harmony, at idealization. Conditions are reported as if they could not be otherwise. Characters as individuals, incapable by definition of being divided, cast in one block, manifesting themselves in the most various situations, likewise for that matter existing without any situation at all if there is any development it is always steady never by jerks the developments always take place within a definite framework which cannot be broken through none of this is like reality so a realistic theater must give it up bourgeois theater puts audiences in a trance they are polite they do not think they are unchanged they are unaffected and politely applaud without any critical judgment. Verfremdung's effect is an effect that makes something very strange or unusual. The audience must be discouraged from losing its critical detachment by identification with one or more of the characters. The opposite of identification is the maintenance of a separate existence by being kept apart, alien, strange. Brecht was against naturalistic theater where the audience hung up their brains with their hats in the cloakroom. The epic theater is a theater for thinkers and doers as opposed to the passively entertained of the realistic theater. There are five chief characteristics of the epic theater. Episodic. The play is chopped up into episodes rather than conforming to the unities of time and place and plot. Presentational. Dialectical. It is meant to teach. Materialist, based on the Marxist theory that economics are core to understanding human behavior. The previously discussed Verfremdung's effect. From 1949 till his death in 1956, Brecht and his wife Helen Wiegel produced plays including Mother Courage and Her Children at the Berliner Ensemble, which continues his work after his death. This is a photograph of the 1949 Berliner Ensemble of Mother Courage and Her Children with Helen Wiegel in the title role that shows many aspects of epic theater, the projection of the locale, the minimalist set, and the presentational style. Other aspects such as the direct address to the audience, the use of narrator characters, and the use of songs to interrupt the action and comment on the ideas of the play can be seen in the following clip of a 21st century production of the play.
service, and I want my reward. Don't tell it to young man. I got enough problems. Save your voice. The music in the chapter is coming. Your voice is in the music. Your voice is in the music. Or else you won't be offended to come to church. You need to be scared. I'm not going to listen. I tell you, I've known a lot of scouters. They never last long. Half an hour is serious long work, and then you're ready to put them to bed. I'm not going to listen. This is an injustice. And injustice is something I do not endure. Oh, is that right? Keep your problems under the injustice. How long can't you stand it for? Is an hour difficult? Does it bug your platoon? Because in the shop, I tell you this in strange tones of voice. Can you tell me what it is? Oh, maybe I can. What if an injustice after all? <laughs> I'm not going to listen to this rubbish. Boop them out, dog! Dare to tell me I don't deserve my reward? No, not at all. Quite the opposite. Oh, I can see how your anger has come to all. There's no kick to it here. There's no pop in it. Now, if you had a big one, I'd be urging you on. Kill him, I say. I'd be telling you to do it. But if I employ you here, then you don't. Well, in that very case, you should be happy to start coming after me. Do it? Very well. Let's see. The captain will be out in a minute. Good, that's your captain. <laughs> <laughs> and now you go. What did I tell you? Armchair rebel. The now may say and we do. But nobody ever sprung the revolution sitting down. Now don't 